you know, just doing a quick bit of info on a few things that have uh, been going on at Aquaclot. This is the test site, uh, just uh, off site, just running through different concepts and whatever. Now, what you're looking at there is a vent. So, the pipe you can see is 40 mil pipe, and that's running out of one of the 4,000 litre tanks, uh, one of the fish tanks, uh, and it runs along and down into one of the greenhouses. Show you the inside. So, that's the pipe on the left there, running down into a little biofilter, which just collects all the solids, but we'll do that one later. So the concept is, all the tanks that I've put together, air pumps going in, say there, and you've got two different pipes going this way, sort of like extras. So this is the inlet. So this is taking water from the sump, and these two, that one's 25 mil, that one's 40 mil. The 25 mil sits at the water level as the water level fills from the sump, starts filling up. The 40 mil starts taking it, sending it over to the greenhouse, into the grow beds in there, and the 25 mil sits just above it. So inside the tank, once the 40 is pretty much full, the 25 mil will start overflowing. So the water will start flowing into it and running into the greenhouse. The reason there's two is that the 40 mil, the pipe runs all the way down to the bottom of the tank, and inside the tank, it filters from the bottom. So it's sucking up all the gunk from the bottom. It's all the, you know, fish poo and every other kind of heavy thing that lands in the bottom of the tank. And the 25 mil is just skimming the top of the tank. So inside there, it's cleaning from the top and the bottom. Uh, now the vent, why there's a vent in the 40 mil is that running down there and into the grow bed creates a massive siphon. It's like a super siphon if it runs. So the bottom of the tank on how siphons work is that as the water comes through the tube, if there is no air in it, and once it starts to you know get full, the pressure of the water starts coming down the pipe into the grow bed with so much pressure that it starts sucking. So that 40 mil will empty that tank in five minutes. And unfortunately, it would be all over the ground, so it would be overflowing into the grow beds and going everywhere and you know never be used again. So adding a vent like this creates an air break. So it's pretty simple stuff, it's just a T, and uh, it, it stops the siphon from happening, because I don't want this to be a siphon, this is just gravity feed from the tank into the grow bed. So whenever you're doing something like this, always try to remember that pipes that end higher, like that pipe ends there, come across to the same level as the tank, it will basically siphon down to that level, which you, you don't want, obviously. You only want you know, the amount of water coming out of the sump to fill the grow bed again. So in this system, this was only just planted out today. It's been restocked with uh, seedlings. So you can see, probably see, inside each of the 75 mil cups, tiny little jiffy. And uh, you know, on that bed, uh, this is all seedlings, so the seedlings are planted directly into the grow medium. I don't like double handling. So this this tank here uh, acts like a, a a sump for the grow beds and the tank. So I won't go into too many other things. There's always too many things going on, but just a quick tip that uh, some people only filter. You know, one pipe is enough. They might just filter from the top, gravity feed out, or, or to the bottom. Uh, but I like to do both. It um, you know, keeps the whole system a lot cleaner. Uh, you find that food, I use a lot of floating pellets. Some are sinking, some are floating. And you'll see that um, within where all the food's coming out, if you only siphon your water out of the tank into your grow beds from the top, uh, as you can see there, there's a bit of a filter under the 25 mil pipe. And again, it's got a vent so it doesn't create a siphon from the tank. Um, a lot of the floating food turns into gunk and it puts the fish off their food. So having a system where you can filter both top and bottom from your tanks for all your fish waste, food waste, stuff, stuff they haven't eaten, bugs and everything. Uh, great idea to have two lines coming out, not just the one. And always make sure you've got something that'll break this pipe 
or the other one becoming a siphon itself and emptying your water tank all over the ground. Pretty simple. T lets the air in as this fills up, fills up to the top. Normally we'll just pump water, it'll literally start sucking water as fast as it can into the grow bed. Having this little cap, vented cap, uh, just creates that break, stops it ever happening. So the water flow is just gravity fed you know, at the right kind of rate for this grow bed. So yeah, just a quick little update and a quick bit of info on you know, trying to stop disasters that are easily happening in aquaponics.